Alrighty, well, good evening, everybody. Well, um, once again, working on my Final Fantasy XIV blog post, um, and then I'm at a point where where uh, I want to explain this uh, new team that I was playing during my stream, um, and I just find it easier to actually just make a video and talk about it rather than sit here and type down this whole monstrous wall of text and how this how this team works. So, and then, like usual, I'm gonna have some music going in the background. This time around, it's gonna be Dianara. Holy places are dark places. So let me go ahead and get that fired up. Okay, so and um, uh, this is actually this is actually, I believe, uh, gonna be two different groups. Um, one's my main one, like the one I'm gonna talk about here is um. After playing this for a while, I started. I call this my poop screen, my poop sprinkler. So, they just do it the way, do it the way the team plays. Um, I think um, a few weeks or a month ago, this this um character here, Chalcedony, she was uh, brand new that just came out, and uh, I think she came out. Yeah, she came out during a journey event. Uh, back when Hellcrag was the focus that week. So. I, I think me and um, I think DJ Screw helped me uh, put this team together. So, but I think I played her a uh, played her a short time. Uh, found the team to be very tedious to play. I'll kind of explain when I get into the game, when I do my matches and stuff. So, but yeah, uh, Mountain Crusher. I think there was a, I think there were better choices. I. I think this is probably uh, the best that we could scrounge up at the time, but as you probably expect, he's a Geomancer construct. Start with 50% mana, and uh, yeah, this is a very underdeveloped team, which is probably one of the reasons why I, I didn't really play it play it much. So then again, Chalcedony, the big one, um, damage an enemy, then you create three Browns, boosted by constructs. But the beauty with this one here is she uses brown mana. So she can, um, there's a phrase I'm looking for, um, self-perpetuating cycle or something like that. But she could just keep doing this over and over and over, at least in theory. And then, um, Nexus Portal, um, if I remember right, this, I think, um, really what you want is a sternal bog, but you know, cause we's from the ghetto up in here. I ain't got him. And um I did a little bit of my own research. Uh, there was another good card or another good troop, which as you'd probably expect, I don't have Zenith. Mainly because uh you you create an evil gargoyle gem. And then um, you can uh you can uh, create a bunch of Doom Skulls as his ability. So yeah, the, the theory behind that is you just keep using Chalcedony and start building up evil gargoyle gems. But like I said, um, as is pretty typical, if it's a if it's a great, awesome card, I don't have it. So like I said, we's from the ghetto up in here. So let me go ahead and clear this out. So um, yeah, Nexus Portal. Which the bottom trade actually kind of works against this build. I think um, I think he decided on this one mainly because once again, um, my class is underdeveloped. It's only 32, and um, level 40 is when you get rock solid. You gain a barrier whenever my matching brown gems. So, so once again, I think he kind of had that in there. That was so. So when my guy, when my hero dies, I'll at least have something to put in its place. But yeah, it the elemental aura it actually works against dust storm, which is what uh is what you get when you use this. And um, after testing this out, it just the elemental star that you get is very rare. It isn't like a dust storm where you get a lot more brown gems than you do one elemental. Then I'm Ironhawk, and, and like I said, he's 
We from the ghetto up in here, so I only have one of these where ideally you'd want to. And then uh, maybe whenever that great day comes and I get level 40 on my Geomancer and actually have some defense on the on my hero here. And then um an even greater miracle if I can get a second Iron Hawk, then get the Nexus portal out of there and put Iron Hawk in his place. And then come on, click. The big one being deal five damage to all enemies whenever you cast a spell, and then, which potentially, I'll be doing a lot of with her. So. Um, and then the, the second one, I'm um, gonna have to, um, after doing PvP for a while, I was starting to notice a lot of this one. This is just a name I came up to spur of the moment, Ferocious Poop. But, um, I, this one here is more suited as a defense team, like in PvP, excuse me, in, uh, in PvP, it's more of a defense team, as you can probably tell, there is no hero in this group, and, uh, the closest you could get to having an appropriate hero would be, would be the Shaman, since he's a Tauros as well, uh, Ferocity, is uh, four skills to all Taurus allies. Um, so basically, that's got to be three. It actually works kind of like my Shitbirds group. They're kind of the same way as well. Give four to all Strix allies. So yeah, you would use Chalice and Odie, um, at least theoretically, over and over. Um, Building up all their stats by 12 each time. And then their ability here. So, but again, there is no hero in this group. So, no classes and all the perks they bring. So, I did, however, test it out, though. Um, let me... This, this is where I've been going. So, I'll show you the... Um, I'll show you the poop sprinkler. Oh, so we got a good board. All right. So, but yeah, um, but yeah, the elemental storm. But uh, the thing of it is, is. They're not dropping nearly as much as uh, the brown gems would if I had a dust storm going. So, once again, Nexus Portal actually kind of works against this build, but I think, um, I think Screw came up with this one here just because my Geomancer uh, class isn't at level 40. So, again, so when my hero gets killed, at least you'll be able to some, some, summon something in its place. So, one, one other drawback. This is a very tedious team to use. So, it this team, at least to me, really isn't suited for PvE, especially Explore 12s, because monsters have such high health and armor. And then the other drawback. Just like a lot of other... A lot of my other teams, uh, Queen Beatrix comes to mind. If you don't get a four match, four match out of this, then you're handing over your opponents in three matches. So, but I, with this team here, I don't even want to target anything. Just shoot the guy at the top. So again, potentially, you can um, set up an infinite loop with this team. And in case anyone's curious, I'm using a controller with this. So. So yeah, this is a team that's more suited to PvP, where 
mo for the most part, monsters have lower health and armor, so battles tend to be a lot shorter. So, and then, let me go ahead and show you the, uh, the ferocious poop one. As you, as you can probably guess, this team here is going to struggle a lot more. Again, this is, I think it's meant for, uh, it's meant for defense in PvP. I didn't get my surge, so... Keep, keep an eye on their stats and watch them go up. As long as I can keep this up. Oh, well, that's one down already. deal 273 damage plus 111 due to all the uh, life attack and armor they have this I mean this should one shot them yeah so no personally again despite its flaws I actually like this team like this team a lot more than the uh, than the shitbirds so and then it would require a lot of leveling up on it, or leveling up the Geomancer class and getting getting some of those other troops that I need. But yeah, it, I find this to be a lot easier to use, a lot more smoother. But once again, this is, uh, these are teams that to me are more suited to PvP rather than PvE. And once again, the uh, old drawback are in its ugly head. I have to actually get to... I have to be able to cast that, so... I've had some uh, super long dry spells on these runs. forget to mention that uh just like the um just like the uh, finesse group that I have it does deal damage to two enemies and uh if you aim for one that has red mana it deals double Yeah, so we're about 230, 240. Uh, let's go a little more. There we go. So let's go ahead and do a... I'm going to go ahead and do a PvP run. can't get a turn. Otherwise, it's game over.
And on this one here, I forgot to do it, but I sh this is one of those where I should have started aiming for Zolgoth first. Got a chance. Could sure, use some red matches now. Damn, some almost bad luck right there. <sighs> kind of against my better judgment, but I'm going to go ahead and take him out. Because otherwise, if I hit him, another spider will pop up. And... Retard! What the fuck? Oh, totally forgot he's entangled. Well, just keep doing this. Ah, eh, kind of a bittersweet victory. Would have been nice to have gotten some red matches out of that. Ah, here we go. Then we have this is the this is the purple variant. Does the same thing Chalcedony does except purple. Which, um, I think I actually did try doing a build, try doing a build of this, but, again, I don't have any of the troops that you need. Doom Chronicle, I think, was one of them, maybe? But one thing I've considered doing is, uh, for PvP content, use my Poop Sprinkler. For PvE, like the Explore 12 run, since you're only gonna get one XP for doing those explore runs anyway. So you get only you only get one uh, class XP, no matter what difficulty of uh, explore explore you do. Figured maybe just do the explorers with this group here, and then since you get no matter uh no matter what kind of PVP you do, you're gonna get two XP anyway. Just use the poop sprinkler. Door. Oh, my whole team's gonna get webbed. Eh, not once but twice. Yes. Yes. No, wrong one. Hang on, I gotta hand click these. Okay. Been having a problem with that during the stream too. I'll be on one window but my computer still thinks I'm on another window. Yeah, this is gonna take a while. I guess do that to speed things on, speed things along a little bit.
There we go. Holy shit. shit. Snatch victory from the jaws of defeat on that one. Okay, but anyway, that's going to do it for me. Um, I just wanted to go ahead and do a team demo on that to kind of show how that works. Uh, save me some time on my uh, blog post, so yeah. Uh, but thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate that, and I'll see you all next time.